Welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see how can we execute our APM scripts on different devices. Okay. So what I have done on my computer, I have attached two devices. So let me show you on visor. So this is device number one and this is device number two. Okay. So if you see, uh, if you see in visor, it's giving me two options. One is Samsung, one is Redmi. All right. So I have opened these two devices on my computer. Okay. So uh, if you see here, I can work on any of the device. If I want, I can work on this or if I want, I can even work on this. Okay. So now what I want to do, I want to control on which device my script should run. So I can control that through my code also. Okay. Because it might possible when you're working in a company, it's not only one device you need to work. It may be you have to test it on more than one devices. Okay. So if I want to control on which device I want to work, I can also put two or three or four devices also at the same time and I can start my scripts on those devices. Okay. And on each device, my scripts will run one by one, by one or maybe I can even run it parallelly. So I will show you how it will run parallelly in the near future where I will cover that. I have also shown you how it, the browsers run parallelly in test ng one time. But for specific mobile, I will create another session. But for now, we will see how can we control on which device I need to run. Okay, and then we can take it further when we run it parallelly. But, uh, you know, basics will remain the same. Okay, so if you see here, this is the last program which we have written where we were opening the WhatsApp. So for that, uh, I have just commented out the, you know, the APK part because I don't have APK for WhatsApp and I have given just app activity and app package name. Okay, now if you see here, okay, let me remove this also, which is not needed right now. Okay, so these are all the capabilities which were working till now. Okay, okay, let me remove the spaces. Okay, so these are all the capabilities which were running till now. Okay, so all the capabilities remain exactly the same. There are few capabilities which get changed when I want to test it on a different browser. Okay, so if you see this device name, this device name, nothing, but you know, we can keep any device name here. So maybe I can keep Android here. Okay, I can keep any name here. Platform name is also, you know, the platform I am which working on. So both our devices are Android. I can keep Android. Platform version. Okay, so this is something which get changed as per the device. Let me remove this also. This is extra, I think, platform version. Okay, so the top one which says platform version, this is something which get changed upon the devices. So we have to take care of that. And there is one, okay, one more capability which I will show you. So let me just put that capability here. So there is a capability called UDID. So this is a unique reference of a devices. Okay, so I can pass on this UDID here and according to that, I can give even the platform number. For example, this is the UDID of my Samsung phone. Okay, so that's mean UDID means unique identification, which I get when I type ADB devices. So this is for my Samsung phone and for Redmi, this is the UDID. Okay, so if I want to run on Samsung phone, I need to give this UDID. If I want to run on the Samsung phone, uh, on the Redmi phone, then I need to give the another UDID. But instead of changing in code again and again, what I can do, uh, maybe I can type here phone equal to Redmi. All right, so currently what I'm doing, I'm trying to give a phone equal to Samsung. Let's give that. And this would be a string. Okay. All right. See what I have done here. I have just given one variable phone and I have given a text as Samsung. Now on the basis of text, I will put an if else condition. Okay. So what I will do on the same place where we have given UDID, I will say if phone dot equal ignore case okay and i will say here if it's samsung all right in that case this is my udid and this will be my version of the android else 
I will give this. I will just copy this. If I have two phones, so I will just give one if and one else. Okay. And I will say if it is not Samsung, then you have to run it on the Redmi. So let me just copy that. Okay, this is a UDID of this one. So this is a unique identification. And uh, the version number is 6.0.1. I have already looked into the settings. So it is 6.0.1. Let me just show you in Visor also. Okay. So here, if you see here, settings about phone and uh, okay, see it is 6.0.1 here. Can you see that at the top? 6.0.1 Android version. Okay. So what I will do now. Let me just see if my phones are still connected. Uh, okay, so I think it is connected. Okay. Let me put ADB devices again just to make sure they are connected. Okay, see, this is what happens. Sometime, you know, the connection are not, you know, it gives the connection. So we need to put this. So till now, only one they have found. So my second device connection is loose. It is not able to find it. So let me see if I can do something. All right. Sorry, one of my data cable is, you know, it's not acting great today. All right. So maybe I will type again UTP devices. Still some issue. Just give me a moment. I'm just trying to fix this cable. Okay. All right. So now both are connected. Now what I will do on the basis of this string, I will try to run my uh, run my scripts. So on if it is I have given Samsung, it will run my uh, run my script on this one. If it is not Samsung or I can give Redmi, it will run uh, the scripts on Redmi. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to control on which device it should run on the base of this string. But this is not only the way. We can pass this uh, string through our test ng also. In our test ng classes, I have already explained you how can you parameterize the thing and how can you pass on to your methods. So we can pass this string also through test ng.xml also. And but right now I'm just hard coding it, just want to keep it simple. Okay, so here is our device on which I want to run and let me do run and test ng test okay okay so see if it run on the Samsung device okay maybe it's refreshing so that is fine uh, but still it's running I believe it will show us on here so I can see on my and mobile, you know, it's running, but maybe here it's not showing. So let me just refresh this. Okay. Wait. Okay, so this is the command prompt and ATB devices. It's killing. Okay, let it kill the application first. Okay, you can see now two devices are there. Okay, and I will press view here on the first one of Samsung and I will press view on the second one. Let it come, otherwise, it may freeze again. Okay. So two devices are there and I want this time it should not run on the Redmi device, but it should run on my Samsung device. Okay, so let's run our script. Okay. Run as test ng test.
So whenever you have any requirement in your company that you need to run on two devices, you can do this also. And later on, I can also tell you how can we run parallel execution on these two devices. So if you want, you know, my both the methods run on these two devices, so we can do that also through one single script. So we don't have to run it again and again. But this is how you do it. This is how internally you do it on the basis of UDID you recognize that you know on which devices you have to run the same way if you remember the same way i have explained to you when i was uh, explaining about the selenium we have done the parallel execution on two different browsers on the basis of the browser name and here we are doing it on the basis of the udid okay so let's see if it's still running test run one okay so it seems that's already ran okay some issue here we got connection refuse so that's mean there is some problem with the APM that's the reason it's get connections it seems it has been closed for some reason so maybe we need to just run it again so give me a moment I'm just turning it on okay it will take a while uh, my computer is a bit slow it will take a while to run the APM so I have just clicked on that till the time we will see what we have done. So what we are doing right now, we are trying to receive a string called Samsung and on the basis of that, we are deciding that which device we want to run. If we want, we can hard code this or if we want, we can even, you know, save it in some property files and whenever we are running it, we change the property file. We can control through test ng.xml also and we can even control it through pom.xml and we can even control it through our maven command which we give from the command prompt. See, all these things I have already explained earlier in my test ng videos, in my maven videos, in my selenium videos that how to do that, how to pass, pass parameters from the different places uh, your, from your framework. So please look into that. That will help you to know instead of hard coding what can we do because I cannot go ahead again teach the same thing in the APM classes because that's already covered right so whenever you're working on your framework these things will always help you that how to do a parameterization of different things how to run your test on the different browsers how to run your test on your different devices so once you see this test and xml and uh, the maven uh, videos you will get fair enough idea and then you can do it by your own okay once you get all these knowledge which i have told you already you will be able to work by your own in the framework and you will also be able to contribute in the framework all right so let's see if it's open i think web driver is not open so let me just pause the video and i will just turn it on once my you know it's uh, it's again it's running okay all right so it seems that my apm server is up and running so let me just run it again Opening of the visor. All right, so I expect as per the parameterization, it should go ahead and run my test cases on the Samsung one, not the Redmi. Okay, it's still running. If you want, you can look into these server scripts also. Still running. Okay. Okay, it started. If you see the server started now, right? So see, that's the reason I have to also to always tell I am always telling you that whenever you run your program, just run the server. See, it has opened the WhatsApp on my first mobile, not on my second mobile. Okay. So this is the way we can control on which mobile you will want to test even if there are more than one mobile plugged with your computer. So just make it sure you know you're looking into these logs because these logs are very helpful to know what exactly the APM do internally because see if you know that how the logs are working how these everything is working if you see here just for your knowledge if you see here it says something like HTTP okay and it is written post so this is nothing but an API this is an API to create a session. 
okay so it has created a session through this api when i will tell you how to do the api testing i will get more deep into that there are many of the you know many of the methods which are get method also in this logs so here you can know the internals of the apm how the apm is working what are the apis which are which we hit through the apm so just get used to that these logs it will help you when you are debugging the things all right so that's it for now just remember udid is the one through which we can control the devices Alright, if you like the video, please like it and hit on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching.